Okay, so here we are back in Bentec. So the first thing you want to do is you can either uh, start a new assembly by clicking the create new button up here or you can go to file new assembly and let's maximize this and input our material and die. In our case, like I said before, we're using inch and three quarter DOM. <clears throat> so what I like to do, and you don't have to do this, but what I like to do is sort of split our dimensions in half when I'm building a when I'm building a hoof. So um, let's just jump right in. So I'm going to say that this is our roof line, um, and and if you remember, we said the roof was 42 inches total width. So I'm going to use this as a center line and and divide 42 and a half. So so I'm going to go to the right. 21 inches and hit apply and then I'm going to do the exact same thing but go to the left 21 inches and hit apply so obviously from from this point to that point is 42 inches so the next thing we want to do is let's go from this point again let's go to the floor 33 inches because that was the overall height of our uh, hoop. So let's hit apply. Now we got a 33 inches from, you know, from our roof bar down to our floor of the, of the bed here. So let's clear these values. And so now we're going to select this floor uh, pick point and do the same thing. We're going to split it in half. And so if you remember, our, our tight measurement was 56 inches. So 56 inches divided by 2 is 28. Because remember, I only want to, I'm, I'm just sort of wanting to center this hoop in the middle of our uh, pick points, basically. So let's divide 56 by 2, and that's 28. And then we're going to subtract half tube width from 28 which is 27.125, and then we're gonna also subtract our quarter inch gap that we want, which gives us a dimension of 26.875. So I'm gonna to go to the left from this pick point, 26.875, and hit apply, and I'm gonna do the same thing going back to the right, and hit apply. So there we go. There is our um, floor dimension, uh, after calculations and so then the only other thing that we need to do is go up 16 inches to sort of go up towards the bed rail and, and remember we, ours were straight straight up and down so let's go to the ceiling from this pick point let's go to the ceiling 16 inches and hit apply and then we're going to do the same thing from this right hand side and hit apply and we're done um, you know to clean this up if you'd like you can delete these pick points because they're not relative to our actual drawing. And so it's a, it's a simple hoop with four bends. So let's go up to the bed part, four bends, and connect the dots. And let's call that bed hoop. Hit OK. So go up to display and we can project this from the front. There's our hoop. Um, go into dimensions so you can so we can verify these horizontally this should be 53.75 53.75 like I said it works good for me to just split it down the middle and, and sort of uh, divide everything by two but you don't have to do that you can do however you want uh, that was just an illustration to show you and then we can also do the same thing from here this should be 42 inches which it is so We've confirmed that this bar is exactly what we need, and so the next step would be to um, transfer this part. So it's highlighted. You go up to the Parts tab, highlight the part, transfer it to a custom part, and this is going to give you your bend recipe um, to actually bend this part. So cut length at 107 and 7 16 There's all your bend location marks. This is your uh, bend angles. Um, my, my angle and spring angle is, is you know, quite a bit different because I'm using a Model 54 bender 
and it's just how I have it set up, but it works great. And there you have it. That's, that's how you, uh, uh, you know, measure and bend a bed hoop for a Toyota pickup. Thanks guys.